qualify a VA loan. It's exactly the same thing as we do conventional loan. No different. We also have to put a credit report to see what is their credits, what is their credit history, how many trade lines do they have. We also have to see the, how much debts do they still have in their credit uh, report. And we also do, have to do income calculation. This is a full doc loans. We have to collect all the documents we need so that um, we can qualify them for a loan. So a, a, v, a veteran have to qualify for a loan that they borrow. All right, so we have to ask for all the documents, two year tax return, two year, uh, two year def, W2, one month bank uh, pay, uh, two month bank statement, two month uh, paycheck stuff, copy of the paycheck stuff. For us, we will do the loan for VA, the veteran that have the middle factor score 620 and above. Because for lower credit score, they will do, uh, the and lender will do manual underwriting, and manual underwriting is really hard to get approval. Okay, so we are going to do VA loan this year. So our loan department will do VA loan for all of us. Um, so all you need to do is just collect everything and give it to them. You need to know who they are so you can give them the correct document so they can apply the COE for your client. So, so we just, so you, so when you meet your v, veteran, your clients, you just ask them who they are from that table. You don't just ask who, who are you, you give them the table and ask them to identify which one they are and then ask them for the document that belong, that they supposed to provide to us. That's one more document, that's it. And for our loan department, what they do after they get all the document already, including the documents for the COE, they will go to the uh, lender that we use, they fill out one form to apply for COE. That one more step they have to do before they submit the loan, okay? All right, talking about VA loan limits. All right, uh, there is, there, is there loan limits on VA loan? No and yes, why no and yes? It's a little bit hard. When we say no loan limits, this is really awesome. No loan limits for people who never applied for a VA loan before. They are qualified for the better a VA loan, but they never use it. Then they have no loan limits at all. What does it mean by no loan limits? As long as they qualify, if their income qualifies for a $2 million loan, they get the $2 million loan. Before, before, like before 2020, the VA loan limit is the county loan limits, but that no longer apply. Now, VA loan, there's no limit if they are the first time using VA loan. They just have to qualify for that. They amount. just have to qualify for okay. that amount okay, of loan. I was so, say they can't just give everybody, you know, a bunch of money and they don't qualify. Exactly. So okay. They have to qualify. Perfect. They have to qualify for that loan, but the lo there's no they loan. They can go up to $10 million if they want it, if they qualify for Exactly. It. Because, for example, if for people who live in Santa Clara County, the loan limit is 970000 Um but what if, like nowadays, the home value is is so high? If they need one point five million dollar loan amount, or one point two million, or even one million dollar loan amount, then they, if it, if if the loan uh, loan limit is the county loan limit, they're not gonna be able to get the loan. Therefore, because that doesn't work anymore, there is no loan limit for VA loan for whoever get the loan the first time. So we have to remember this. But for people who already have one loan, VA loan, and then they still have that VA loan, and they move to a different place to live because of work, because VA, veteran, they move around. Mm -hmm. They have to buy another home in another place, so they use their VA loan the second time. In this case, there is a loan limit on it. I have a question. Yes. So is it is it like a FHA loan where you if after five years if you don't do it you get to like kind of get a, like a new one? Good question, but no. Okay, talking about VA loan and FHA loan, very good question. I think after we learn the VA loan, we're gonna go back to learn about FHA loan. 
people can have more than one VA loan or more than one FHA loan, there must be a reason. Let's get one example from our company. Anna, her husband is a veteran, right? That's yes, us. I am. Yeah. So they bought a house in Texas using VA loan. But they moved here, California, and they will need to buy another house here in California. So because they already used VA loan once, and they still keep that VA loan there, they moved here, they rent that home out. That's fine. That's fine. That's okay because they don't live it anymore. But when they move here, if they want to use the VA loan one more time, the home here has to be an owner-occupied VA loan because VA loan is not for rental, not for non-owner. So if she buy an owner-occupied here in California, she can use VA loan one more time. But how much down payment she need to put in on she or she don't need to put in any down payment. We will learn how to calculate that a little bit. So we will learn, oh, our client already have one VA loan. Now they want another VA loan. Does he need to do any down payment or he still qualify for a zero down payment? Is that possible? It is possible, but we need to do some calculation. They don't have to get rid of the other one? They no. Okay. They can still keep that there. Unless they don't want to keep the VA loan there, they can refinance into conventional. And then if they did that, would they come over here with the no... They restore no all their eligibility. Okay. If they if they, if they they refinance that house into conventional loan or they sell it, or they sell it, they restore their eligibility completely. So they know for sure they have completely full amount of insurance they can do another VA loan here knowing for sure they don't have to bring in any down payment you see you see it here a right? good question but yes that's how it works and how many times can you is there a limit on how many times you can do that or there is no limits until you run out okay so what is that amount called it's called VA entitlement we talk about it a lot so case okay, lender here no loan limit with full entitlement but county loan limits with leftover entitlement. 